I think it's been fascinating two days uh, with a lot of inspiration on green innovation. How do we get civil society, universities, companies to innovate together? Green investments, building new partnerships uh, where you can leverage our development finance and multiply it and give green investments all over the uh, world. Uh, new types of uh, partnerships that goes across traditional borders and barriers and, uh, and a lot of inspiration from the sessions and from the many also bilateral talks that you have here. It's a great place to network, uh, to meet each other, to discuss and I guess it's all conducted in a perhaps typical Danish informal way. Uh, fairly flat structure, uh, easygoing atmosphere, I hope, uh, and I have felt uh, where people can talk uh, across uh, traditional uh, barriers and obstacles uh, that you often see perhaps at international conferences. The informality of it I think is appreciated, at least by me and I feel by many participants. So it's been an uh, inspiring uh, days and uh, the partnership is growing and uh, we are happy to be part of it. Well, I can see more and more countries coming. I can see more and more participants from different sectors uh, engaging uh, in this agenda. Uh, I think the combination of an urgent call for action because of planetary boundaries and an optimistic sense of opportunities, uh, the ability to create jobs and growth by promoting uh, a green uh, uh, economy, uh, that the optimism and the call for urgency kind of unites here in a unique fashion that uh, gives a lot of action and gives a lot of uh, dedicated people. The group here is a front runners, politicians, business people, civil society who try uh, to uh, really be the front runners of a green transition. Uh, but of course the hope is that it will act as rings in the water and spread out to neighboring countries and that the beneficial effects of investing in a green economy is going to inspire more people and more countries and, and, and thereby have a much broader international agenda. My hope is that exactly that the 3GF will act as rings in the water and, uh, and have strong spillover effects to other countries to international negotiations where you kind of have a shift from seeing sustainable development and a green economy as something that has to do with uh, stumbling stones uh, and constraints uh, to be able to see it as what it is, building blocks uh, of a sustainable and green and inclusive uh, economic transition. So I hope this, this can take us from stumbling stones to building blocks. Uh, of a green economy and that's what 3GF is all about.